Hello and welcome to Computer Tech and More. Today I'm going to talk about my experience with two of the Brio power, battery powered trains. <clears throat> the first one is the Mighty Red locomotive. It's for ages 3 plus. This is the Brio code 33592. And the other one is the. Oh, where's the name on it? Uh, oh, let me just bring that up. Let me look at the side real quick. So obviously I've opened these and my kiddo has played with them. 33319. And this is like a, a three-piece train set battery action train. That's what they're calling this one. And um, how should I say it? The uh, big red locomotive, we really like this one. It was really cool. It uses two AAA batteries. There's a little screw right there in the middle of the smokestack. <clears throat> but I have a major problem with this train. Uh, my son received them as a Christmas gift last year, a little on the young side, so we kept a careful eye on him so that he couldn't mess it up because it has three modes. It has a uh, battery mode, a, a back mode. See, I can't turn the wheel. Uh, then you put it in the middle, and then the wheels can... And then it will go forward, and then it goes all the way, and the wheels spin freely. Again, in the middle, and they're locked. And then that's where these buttons are supposed to work for making it go forward, stopping it, and uh, I forget what that one was, on off maybe. But it's on the box. But uh, it had light, it had sound, it has a, had a little sensor on the bottom for when it would run over specific parts of the track and would actually make choo-choo sounds, which is why it was really cool. But the first one we had just randomly stopped working, changed out the batteries, nothing worked. Luckily it was within its uh, return window on Amazon, and so we did that. Second one uh, stopped working at about nine months. And because it was outside the return window, I contacted Brio. By the way, shout out to Brio. They're really awesome. The person I contacted, I don't want to get her in trouble, so I'm not going to use her name. Um, actually, it was their uh, Brio contact within the United States. Uh, I had to look it up. I'll have it in the link description down below, but I don't remember it offhand while I'm making this video. Uh, she was really awesome and was like, yep, I'll go ahead and send you a brand new train where you saw your Amazon confirmation and the new one should be in the mail. Well, the new one arrived and it just did not work. I put in the batteries. I checked the orientations. I put it all in. I even sent her, I sent her another email, the same person that I contacted the first time. It's like, I don't know what's going on with this train. It's not working. Do you want me to send you a video showing you that it's not working? I'll show you the me installing the batteries, pushing all the buttons, trying to make this thing function. And she took me up on that offer because I offered it and it just did not work. And so I asked for a replacement train. I was like, well, I kind of want one of these battery powered trains. So I asked for this one because they're about the same price. So an equivalent kind of thing they're going on. And this one so far, we've had it for three, four months. Has been working really well. So this one uses one AAA battery installed through the smokestack. It has one little light right there in the front. The wheels are classic Brio in appearance. And what's really cool about it is as it's rolling along, the coal rocks back and forth and the barrel spins. Unfortunately, it doesn't make any noise. Uh, I don't really see that as a downside. Uh, sometimes it does get stuck on these, on the tracks, just as a side note, so that's what happened there. And then it can go backwards. That's the sound it makes. Forwards again. Middle is off. So with these, you want to just basically make sure that the child doesn't push on it and cause grinding of the wheels because I can burn out the electronics. Okay. And again, that didn't happen with the other trains. I don't really know what happened to it. So it has a sensor on the bottom that'll keep it going, uh, which is what the other one had so that it knows that it's, uh, you still want it to run basically. And then 
these ones have this back wheel. See, it has that rubber on it. And it has a little gear that sits on the inside. So as you roll, it rocks from side to side. And so does this one. It just has a little gear that sits on the inside of it, well protected, so that you can use it with uh, any regular choo-choo train that isn't battery powered and they'll still spin and rock and do that other cool stuff. So um, I don't know where that leaves me with these. Uh, this only uses one AAA battery so I don't expect it to run as long. It is lighter in weight. Um, they're all I think in the $30 range. I need to double check that as I'm filming this. I didn't I didn't double check the prices. Um, so right now, if I were to recommend any of these trains, I need to get the red, big red. Yeah, there's the size comparison. I would say go with the smaller one. It seems like a better value. And my experience, I mean, right now, my son can just use it as a rolling train. And uh, getting in here to install batteries is very difficult. You have to really push down and push it back to get the screw to engage. This was much easier to install a battery. But my experience with this has just been so bad. Uh, three trains not working within one year, basically. Um, so yeah, I recommend the battery operated action train of these two. And of course, Brio sells other train models. There's the instructions for battery. I'll it up for the big red locomotive. They sell other battery power trains and um, they come with you know all the instructions and all that kind of stuff so that you can pick out which trains you like the best and that you send like an advertisement for all the different trains so you can get what you want and i just want to basically do a kind of public service announcement for which train i thought was the best i almost forgot we had a second battery power train. It's one of the ones that look like uh, subway cars. Uh, does it have the model on it? The LC7131 Brio. And this one comes with a little guy. He sits in the front. Oh, my focus is off. And then it's got forward, back. So this one's pretty easy to use. This one got it at the same time as the big red. So this one appears to be much better uh, reliability but it doesn't work as well kind of on um, like hills and other bits of track. The, the classic style seems to work a little bit better. So anyways, there you have it. There's my quick little talk about different Brio trains, at least the battery powered ones. There are lots of different options out there. I certainly haven't tried them all, but uh, of the three that I've used, I like this one the best. It's by far the best value. Anyways, thank you very much for watching. Uh, please subscribe for more content and have a great day.